I now request Mr. Shivanandan to introduce our speaker. Good evening, Dr. Pandya, Professor Joshi, Professor Arya, and Mr. Pinto, and all the members of the distinguished audience. A very good evening to all of you. It is, uh, it's indeed a very rare privilege and pleasure to introduce my friend, philosopher, and guide. You call him a management guru, a marketing guru, a communicator par excellence, and what not. He wears many hats. But for me, the ultimate human being is my friend and philosopher, Professor Pandya. Such a simple man to deal with. No uh, ambitions and uh, greed in him. And uh, a multifaceted personality acquires any skill which he requires at any time or whatever skill uh, he fa is fascinated to. In the bargain, he has become, he has become the ultimate uh, person in the sense that he can conduct courses like this, he can uh, teach communication, he can teach stress management, he can teach holistic uh, approach to good health, he can talk on psychology for four days. I have attended his program, for full four days he could speak on psychology and people, I don't know whether they, they got affected by his lecture or hypnotized, I don't know, but they were there spellbound, wrapped with rapt attention for four days people were listening to him. I was there. Last year, I went to Ahmedabad with him and to this uh, Ahmedabad Management Association. There were 1800 of them in the hall. He spoke on Nada Brahman. Definitely it is not uh, uh, management, but it is about music. The whole crowd were there on their feet, singing along with him. The whole hall was reverberating with Nada Brahman. And that was an exhilarating experience. He is there playing sitar throughout the night, practicing it under uh, a great maestro. And uh, he prefers to work whenever he likes. Most of the time he prefers to play sitar. And uh, he has been teaching management to people like us. If I have been a bit of a success like Mr. Joshi uh, kindly said, it is basically because of the skills, communication skills and various other skills I have learned from him. Not only he chooses to teach you people, he has also been teaching the Maharashtra police. Not less than 300 lectures and programs he has uh, given to us, not charging a pie any time. There can't, be, uh, uh, there can't be a better giver. If knowledge has to be distributed, if knowledge has to be shared, here is a standing example who can do that. He has learned gemology, the collection of gems he has got, the big, big rings here, I've been always admiring. He gave me one, but I couldn't wear it because, you know, we are not lucky like him to have such kind of dazzling um, um, stones and uh, uh, the, uh, by way of rings, he converts them, he designs them himself. He has learnt the art of uh, designing jewellery and then he teaches management to all the corporate world, not only here, all over the world. And about music I have mentioned, he has learnt Cooking now for a hundred people to cook and feed them is, is something which is very delightful to his uh, heart. I don't think there is there are many things in life which he has not learnt. Wherever it caught his attention, he learned that and made the made the best out of that. Leading life king size in a very constructive way is what uh, Professor Pandya all about. I mentioned about his attempt to mend the. Uh, Maharashtra police, Mumbai police and various others. He is such a good friend that he even came to Bandara and Nagpur. At the end of the world, these two districts are there and he had come there to teach the Maharashtra police at his own cost and people remember him, how he spent the two days there with them teaching uh, management and stress-free life. So such a kind of a person trying to teach you communication today is something very, very uh, befitting and very, we are very, very lucky. 
So, if this is the kind of person we are going to listen to, it is, it is a virtual treat. To, to sum it up, here is a great leader, a great human being, a great authority on management and a great friend. So, if we see some good qualities, as I mentioned the, um, uh, the other day to these uh, uh, Dalmia students, you can see all that in him, that is the vision, a great vision he had. That's why at the age of 15, he defined the parental pull, the gravitational pull of India, saying that you become a doctor or an engineer, left for learning various things, English and various other arts uh, uh, subjects. He got a double postgraduate degree from USA, stayed there for 20 years and taught. So he's a teacher by birth. From the age of 15 he has been teaching, now he is as young as 67 years with so much of vigor and energy that even a 25 year old would feel um, uh, less uh, um, stamina he would have compared to Dr. Pandya, Professor Pandya. He has the passion to carry on whatever he is uh, the chosen field and he is deeply involved, multifaceted and uh, he carries the torch of teaching all over the place. He has the courage to call a spade a spade even though he is kind hearted like that boy and the other friend. But he has the courage of conviction and he believes he can change the world. And that is why he has embarked himself on teaching and uh, teaching management, communication, assertive management, etc., etc. Competence, there is no limit to his competence in his chosen field. Whatever he speaks, he speaks with authority. Character. The ultimate in reputation and character, there is, uh, if, he, if he has a collection of gems, I will call himself a, a, a gem. Uh, and uh, he, the character, is ultimate in character, a disciplined person. A discipline is, 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 is something, that's a hallmark of Professor Pandya. If he has to deliver a lecture at 5 o'clock, he would definitely be there at 4 o'clock to set up things, check everything and be there, wait for the others to come. So he is the one who decided that either I will find a way or I will make one. He has made a way for himself when others wanted him to become a doctor or an engineer. He has chosen the field of teaching from the age of 15. Mahatma Gandhi said, be the change you want to see um, uh, in, 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 the, in this world. So he has been the change, he has been the gentle breeze in the life of many uh, friends and disciples of him. So I have, I have known personally all of them. As the saying goes, people are often unreasonable and illogical and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. That's the creed. If you are successful, you will win some false friends and some true enemies. Succeed in any, any way. If you are honest and, uh, and, and frank, people may cheat you. Be honest anyway. That's what he has been, uh, others have been doing to him. If we find a serenity and happiness, others may be jealous. Be happy anyway. And give the world the best you have and it may never return and it may never give you the credit. But give the world the best it deserves anyway. That has been the motto of this uh, uh, gentleman. And, uh, he is, uh, uh, and he is here with us and we are very lucky. If there is a man who has chosen the path of excellence, it is, it is him, he practices excellence in every, everything, every way, every walk of his life. The, uh, they, they describe excellence as, as a result of uh, uh, caring more than others think is wise, risking more than others think is wise, and risking more than others think is safe, and dreaming more than others think is practical. And that is what he has done, what others cannot do by way of change in the managerial skills which people require, he has been giving. He is a person who is self-made, who never took a pie from anybody, he went to USA and stayed there and came back and made a success of himself. Many a language he can speak, many a books he has written and he has succeeded in everything he has done. And uh, as I said earlier, he lives life king size on his own terms, works for a few days and the other days he enjoys playing sitar and that is what I am jealous about him, that he has chosen the life he likes and that is how the world has to adjust to him. But when he is doing that, 
he does it with the ultimate humility ultimate frankness ultimate uh, happiness and wherever he is in a place he is like a magnet he attracts attention and attracts good people the company he keeps is something which is exemplary the whole country has benefited recently very many uh, multinationals have been asking him to teach them the communication skills and they have benefited and so we i have heard him 300 times so far and i am not tired i am looking forward to hearing him today tomorrow and day after and all of you by the end of the lecture series would be very very happy and thrilled to hear him and you will hear him more often with this introduction i leave you and professor pandya together thank you so much for calling me here thank you so much